Welcome at ZF of the Market here at the Automechanica in Frankfurt. It's great to have you here. The next few minutes we will listen to the topic electrification, ADAS and sustainability. Please give a very warm welcome to Barbara Klaus. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, exactly. So electrification, ADAS and sustainability they all actually belong to the buzzword cases. So what is it about actually? So the aftermarket is really like disrupted by cases. Cases is related to connected vehicles, it's to autonomous driving, it's shared mobility, electric mobility, so really the e-mobility topic that we have heard a lot about today already and that we will hear about as well in the next days. Uh, sustainability as well. And yeah, still all of those yeah, trends actually in the aftermarket, they don't really impact our ambition as ZF aftermarket, which is to be a leader in providing added value services and spare parts to our customers throughout the entire life cycle of uh, our ZF solutions, independent of the brand that we use. So it means that we want to serve our distributors and original equipment services as a one-stop shop with the spare parts, with diagnostic solutions and all that is around. As well, workshop and installers, they require as well diagnostics, but as well trainings related to these new trends. And fleets, yeah, what is the need of fleets? It's uptime. It's all about uptime and uh, yeah, avoiding downtime at the same time, of course. So, as mentioned, actually, I will not go into all of the details of, uh, of cases, but focus on the topics that are affecting us already. So let's start with, with the advanced driver assistance systems. So first to give you a short introduction on that. So what does it actually mean? So we have different levels of advanced driver assistance systems. So of the automation level that is in there, and it's divided into L0 to L5 starting from a no automation. So here the driver is really yeah, steering everything and he is in charge of all the activities within the vehicles, vehicle. And L5 is full automation, so actually the driver is not needed. He can lean back so, or be absent actually at the same time. So this is our, like, our shuttles that we talk about, autonomous shuttles. And if we look at the graphs that you see on the slide behind me, so you will see that, of course, on the one hand, we have already a certain penetration of these different levels in the market, but up to 230 in, uh, throughout the entire world. So whether you take Europe, the US, or like China, for instance, it will significantly grow. So it will impact us in the aftermarket. It will impact us in the commercial vehicle area. So how do we as ZF deal with that? So actually, we focus our offering on three different main areas. One is to provide spare parts. One is retrofit solutions. We have heard already uh, today about some of them. Um, Sachin presented you some of them, like the churning assistance system. And we talk about services, which are really needed in that area as well. And you see on the slide some of the products that we already offer in the different levels of automation. So we talk about cameras, we talk about radars, litters, and we talk about Pro AI, our supercomputer. We talk about the retrofit solutions, the TAS that I was just mentioning. Um, we talk as well about services, and here training is really significant. Diagnostics play a major role to get the access to the vehicle. Otherwise, you cannot even diagnose, you cannot replace, you cannot really perform a repair. So this is our holistic approach that we do to really serve our different customer groups in the aftermarket. Going now into the area of electrification. And here the same, first I would like to give you an outlook in the commercial vehicle area. For bus and for trucks, electrification also plays a role. And you see that especially in the bus segment, the uh, share of electrified vehicles will increase up to 20%. Um, in, in, in the op yeah, in electrified vehicles and operations area. And also for trucks, it plays a role. 
but not such a significant one, but it will be visible. And all of those vehicles require as well service. And what we see is we're talking about a new ecosystem as well. So it's not only about parts and services, but we also talk about charging. We talk ab about high voltage. We talk about batteries. So all those are aspects that we need to deal with and that we need to tackle. And now the question is, how do we do that within ZF Aftermarket? And I will guide you through that based on, um, on the example of our OE products. So first of all, we we really collaborate closely already with our colleagues in the OE division, so the ones that are working with the original equipment manufacturers. So already when the product is being developed, we ensure that the serviceability is ensured for the product so that it later on can be repaired and exchanged in the aftermarket. But that's just a starting point. Of course, it requires as well different skills and trainings. So this is what we focus on as well, like enabling our, um, yeah, our service force actually out there in the market to perform the exchange and repair on electrified vehicles. Of course, it's related to the spare parts launch, so that is extremely important. And it's not only the spare parts, but it is also about instructions. You need to really specifically know how to perform the repair. But we don't stop here, of course. We stay in close contact with our service network. We get their feedback and use it to optimize our offering. We feedback it back to our OE colleagues. We feedback it back to ensure that our trainings are enriched if we see that there is some additional needs that are, that are not captured yet in our offering. And of course, as ZF, we target a holistic portfolio, to have a holistic portfolio to become a one-stop shop in e-mobility. So we grow our portfolio as well um, outside of what we supply to OE series, considering actually the same steps. So we stay in close con uh, contact with our service network out there. So we join forces, and this is actually how we do it. And it's not a, uh, yeah, it's ZF aftermarket only, but it's our entire community that is needed to, to get to that ambition that we're having to become the one stop shop for e mobility. Another aspect of the trends is sustainability. I will not go into all of the aspects of sustainability because there are also some other presentations around that, but I would like to give you a glimpse on the different areas that we look into when we talk about portfolio sustainability. So, of course, one of the topics, the hot topics, is remanufacturing. So, really re reusing the old cores of a product um, to remanufacture them and to, to provide them and sell them out again to the market. But another important aspect is as well repair kits. So instead of exchanging the part, why don't we repair it? And this is actually how we have a holistic approach depending on the different products to ensure that the most important repair kits are available with the launch of the product as well on a global basis. We talk about environmental friendly materials that we use in our product ranges. We talk about functionalities, like really electrification, for instance, and product design. Here you might have seen the presentation on our modular ABS sensor concept for commercial vehicles, where we really improve continuously with the aspect of sustainability, um, yeah, our portfolio as well for very well-known and conventional products like sensors. And uh, yeah, of course, it's also about green awards. This is more as well to, to make it easier for customers to see that a product is considering those green elements in the design. Actually, this is in a nutshell our, our holistic scope that we want to do around um, sustainability. And it all, like electrification, ADAS, sustainability, and all the rest that we're doing, is again to take care of the future and current challenges with a holistic approach and not only single things that we take out. So we launch the spare parts, we look into the sustainability areas, we look into new trends, we provide diagnostics, trainings, and of course, want to make it easy for our customers to find the parts 
by cataloging them in an appropriate way. Thank you very much. Applause. Thank you so much, Barbara. <laughs> At the end, I prepared two questions for you. Okay. Yes, indeed, Aidas and electrification will significantly impact the aftermarket. What are the challenges workshops might face in regards of these technologies? Yeah. So yeah, there, there are various challenges, but it's a, yeah, as usual an opportunity at the same time, actually, because also electrified vehicle require service. So that's, that's, that's a fact. So, but what we need to consider is that they need to be prepared. So they require like different skill sets that we need to consider, um, which is related to trainings. They require different diagnostic solutions to even get access to the vehicle. Otherwise, I cannot replace a spare part. So it's various aspects, but we take care of, the, of that together with them. And uh, yeah, we'll continue to do so in future as well. Yeah, you mentioned high voltage and the high voltage training several times. Is that one <laughs> of the key trainings you have? It is. It, it really is. Because even if, if you take an electrified vehicle, you really need to know how to deal with high voltage because uh, you need to shut down the system before performing a repair. Otherwise, it will become dangerous. And you need to know that you did it really properly. So yeah, it's, it is one of the key things to know. And that is why we also provide the high voltage trainings to workshops, yes. All right, so Barbara, we are at the end of our presentation. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed it and see you soon.